just planted Danny earlier there. Comfy bed, I would say. Comfy. I think our plants will be pretty happy in here. <laughs> This week we finished off painting around the stonework in our new kitchen white. We are absolutely delighted with how it's looking with the new room, the floor put down and the walls repointed. It was great to get our wood burning oven and fridge moved back in here and we couldn't wait to use the oven to prepare some yummy food. We also decided to upcycle an old desk that we found in the old shed. I began by sanding down the old green paint and giving the desk a really good clean. It is an interesting piece of furniture and we were pleased to be able to reuse it. After cleaning it, we gave it a couple of coats of fresh white paint and we were then ready to restore the top of it. The top of the desk was in quite a bad way. The wood was quite rotted and worn away. We came up with a unique idea to turn it into a flat working surface. Using panel adhesive glue, we cut some leftover tiles to size and fixed them to the top of the desk. We filled in the joins in the tiles with grout and after a few finishing touches the desk was now ready to use. I now have a comfortable place to sit and work and edit videos. A little office was exactly what we needed. Will has spent some time over the past few weeks 
cutting grass and making our pathways wider, it really does make our home and garden look a lot more neat and organised. We have both also spent a lot of time and energy filling our garden beds. Thanks to everyone who suggested using some of the old animal bedding and manure for building up our garden beds. We have so much of it. These are some of the small animal houses and they're full of hay and droppings and things. We do plan to knock all these away eventually because they are a bit of an eyesore but it's really good to make use of the materials. In this house over here I found this little pot. I love finding weird old things. It's quite heavy. I imagine for sitting at the, on top of the fire. Cool. The downside of getting the materials from the animal houses is that I have to venture into some dodgy looking rooms. There's this one room underneath the house which I'm going to show you now. I've been really putting off going in there, it's just full of cobwebs and bleh. so but anyway it, it needs done eventually so why not today eh? Wheelbarrows of hay are going to be a lot less heavy than wheelbarrows of wood. Always a bright side. <laughs> So down here what I'm doing is digging back alongside this wall here. Quite a long way to go still but as you can see it's exposing some nice stone and with all the soil which seems really good actually I'm adding that into the garden beds.
While Will is finishing off the garden beds, I have been making a seed tray. So instead of buying seed trays, plastic seed trays, I'm just sort of using what I've got. So I had this basket which was already in the house when we moved here and these are toilet rolls cut in half. I'm just going to fill them with some soil and I'll get some seeds started which will then be transplanted into our garden beds. So we are now opposite our house up at Snake Rock where we have come up with a very makeshift greenhouse idea. So eventually we would love to have a proper greenhouse. Yes, eventually. But for this year... This year a little lean-to will do us. An old shower door which was on the old roof of our kitchen to stop water getting in. But it's going to go to good use here. These are the seedlings that we have for now. In the red basket we have a selection of different types of peppers, different types of tomatoes, a row of cauliflower and a row of Portuguese cabbage. We also have little egg cartons with some chilli peppers in and then onions in these pots and with a few other pots to bring over. We're hoping we've seen our last frost already but we could always add sides if we felt we needed to. <laughs> we can certainly feel spring approaching and we are so pleased to now have seven garden beds completely full and ready for planting thank you so much for watching we will see you very soon